Hi, my name is Ashish and I welcome you to this series in which we are architecting and designing the network solutions on Azure. And in this part, we will cover how to connect the on-premises network to Azure using Express Route. We looked at the section where we discussed and covered the topic regarding VPN gateway. I hope now you know what a VPN gateway is, how to implement it, what are the things that are required to connect the site to site network from on-prem to Azure using the VPN gateway. In this part, we'll cover the express route. I would not be able to cover much of the practicals in it, but I will make sure that I deliver the concepts that are associated when it comes to express route and the terminology and the functioning of the things. How does that function? So to start with, see the connections are made over a private high bandwidth connection. The express route service provides a secure and reliable way to connect your on-premises network directly to Azure. We use ER, that is express route, when we don't want the traffic to traverse through the internet. So when you do it from the site to site VPN, the traffic goes through the private tunnel, but it goes via the internet. But in express route, the traffic travels, does not traverse through the internet we want, and it uses the dedicated connection to Azure. So what is exactly the express route? You see the diagram on the left hand side of your screen. So to explain it, Azure express route lets you seamlessly exchange your on-premises networks into the Azure. This connection between your organization and Azure is dedicated and private. Note down this word, dedicated and private. Establishing an express route connection enables you to connect to Microsoft Cloud services like Azure Office 365, Dynamics 365, Security is enhanced, connections are more reliable, latency is minimal, and throughput is greatly increased when you are using the express route. So have a look at this trigram for a uh, for few seconds, but you will come to know about each and every component that is present in this trigram in the next few slides. So this is customer's network, this is our network, this is partner edge, you will know what a partner edge is. This is the primary connection, this is the secondary connection for the express route circuit. This is the Microsoft Edge router, this is the Azure. It is Microsoft pairing, the red line and the blue line is private pairing. So there are two types of pairing when it comes to express a route. So don't be overwhelmed about these all these terminologies that we are sharing. You will come to know about all of these in next few slides. So let's talk about the features and benefits of Express Route. We have layer three connectivity. So it provides layer three connectivity between the on-premise and the Microsoft Cloud through connectivity partners. So you, this is the partner edge are the connectivity partners. So relate all these things now. So these connections can be from a point to point, any to any network, or they can be virtual cross connections through an exchange. So it provides the built-in redundancy. Each connectivity provider uses a redundant services to ensure that connection established with Microsoft are highly available. You can configure multiple circuits to complement this feature. Now you know that why we have the primary and the secondary connection. We have multiple circuits. Features. So connectivity to Microsoft Cloud Service Express Route enabled direct access to the following services in all the regions. As I told you earlier, Office 365, Dynamics 365, Azure Cloud Services such as Azure Cosmos TB and Azure Storage and Azure Virtual Machines. Across on-premises connectivity with Express Route Global Reach, we can enable Express Route Global Reach to exchange data across the on-premises sites by connecting the Express Route circuits. We have dynamic routing. Express Route uses the BGP that is Border Gateway Protocol routing protocol. BGP is used to enhance exchange routes between on-premises networks and resources running in Azure. These, this protocol enables dynamic routing between the on-premises network and services running in the Microsoft Cloud. Let's talk about Express Route connectivity models. Express Route supports three models that we can use to connect the on-premises network to Microsoft Cloud. We can use Cloud Exchange co-location, we can use point-to-point, -point, and we can use any-to-any -any connection. Now let's see what all these complies for. First have a look at co-located at Cloud Exchange. Co-located providers can normally offer both layer two and layer three connections between the infrastructure and the cloud. 
For example, if the data center is co-located at a cloud exchange such as ISP, we can request a virtual cross connection to the Microsoft Cloud. Then we have a point-to-point -point Ethernet connection. Point-to-point -point connections provide layer 2 and layer 3 connectivity between the on-premise site and the Microsoft Azure. We can connect the offices or data centers to Azure by using the point-to-point -point links. For example, if you have an on-premise data center, you can use a point-to-point -point Ethernet link to connect to Microsoft. Then we talk about any to any networks. With point to point connectivity, we can integrate the WAN with Microsoft Azure by providing connections to the offices and data centers. Azure will integrate with the WAN connections to provide a seamless connection just like we would have between the data centers and any other branch. Let's see how Azure Express Route works. How Azure Express Route works. To implement Express Route, we need to work with an Express Route partner. The partner provides the Edge service. Now you know what this Edge partner Edge location meant when I was talking about. I am sorry what, what this meant when I was talking about the partner Edge thing. The partner provides the edge service an authorized and authenticated connection that operates through a partner control router. The edge service is responsible for extending the network to the Microsoft Cloud. So you will have a connectivity from your data center to the partner edge. Then this will be responsible to have a connectivity from the partner edge router to the Microsoft Edge router. And that is how this traffic will flow from Microsoft Edge router to your uh, cloud services then partner sets up the connections to an endpoint in an express route location implement by the microsoft edge router this is the microsoft edge router these connections enables you to pair your on-premises networks with the virtual networks available through the endpoint these connections are called circuits so we will create the circuits here in the microsoft azure so that we can have a connectivity between the microsoft edge router and those circuits. So what are the prerequisites for Express Route? An Express Route connectivity partner or cloud exchange provider that can set up a connection from the on-premises networks to the Microsoft Cloud. We need an Azure subscription. We need an active Microsoft Azure account that can be request an Express Route circuit. Then we need an active Office 365 subscription if we want to connect to the Microsoft Cloud and access the Office 365 services. Okay, Express Route supports two pairing schemes. We use private pairing to connect to Azure IAS and PaaS services deployed inside Azure virtual networks. The resources that you access must all be located in one or more Azure virtual networks with private IP addresses. You can't access resources through their public IP over a private pairing. Make a note of it. We use uh, Microsoft pairing to connect to Azure PaaS service, Office 365 services, and Dynamic 365. Create an Express Route circuit and pairing. So this is a lab. I have to log on to the Azure portal and show you. I'm, I'm not going to actually create a circuit, but I'll show you the parameters that needed to be filled when you create a circuit. So let me just log on to the portal for this. I'm inside the portal. I'm going to click on Create a Resource. I'm going to type in Express Route. It says Express Route Microsoft. It says Express Route enables you to create private connections between Azure data centers and infrastructure that's on your premises or in a co-location environment. Express Route connections do not go with the public internet. Okay, click on Create. Create new or import from the classic. I'm going to create new. You can type in name. Provider can be your, let's say I'm going to select pairing location, Mumbai 2, bandwidth, go for 50 Mbps, skew size, billing model, I can read more about it, classic operations, subscription, pay as you go, click on resource group, select the location, when you hit create, it will take several minutes for it to create it. So that's how you configure your express out circuit from the Azure side. Rest, rest, you have to go for the partner edge location 
to get the further keys that you can integrate here. So circuit creation can take several minutes after the circuit has been provisioned. You can use the Azure portal to view the properties. You will see that circuit status is enabled, meaning that the Microsoft side of the circuit is ready to accept connections. Provider status will not will be not provisioned initially. This is because the provider hasn't configured their side of the circuit for connecting to your location or to your network. So you will send the provider the value in the service key field to enable them to configure the connection. Because when you will create the experts out circuit, you will get a service key value that you will share with your provider when they will have that service key enabled, when they will have their connections up and running, then the provider status will be changed to provisioned. Create a pairing configuration. After the provider status is reported as provisioned, you can configure the routing for the pairings. These steps apply only to circuits that are created with service provider who offer layer two connectivity. For any circuits that operate at layer three, the provider might be able to configure the routing for you. The express route circuit page lists each pairing and its properties. You can select a pairing to configure these properties. Let's talk about private pairing. You can you can use private pairing to connect your network to your virtual networks running in Azure. To configure private pairing, you must provide the following information. You have to have peer ASN, that is the autonomous system number from your side of the pairing. The primary subnet, this is the address range of the primary. You can use any slash 30 subnet that you created in your network. You will use the first IP address in the subnet for your router. Microsoft uses the second for its router. Secondary subnet. This is the address range of your secondary colon slash 30 subnet. This subnet provides a secondary link to Microsoft. Remember, there were two circuits. The one is primary and one is secondary. The first two addresses are used to hold the IP address of your router and the Microsoft router, same as the primary subnet. You must have the VLAN ID. This is the VLAN on which to establish the pairing. The primary and secondary links will both use this VLAN ID so that one can fail over to the same VLAN ID when either of them fails. Shared key, this is an optional MD5 hash that's used to encode messages passing over the circuit. Then we have a Microsoft pairing. You use Microsoft pairing to connect to Office 365 and its associated services. To configure Microsoft pairing, you provide a peer ASN, primary subnet address, secondary subnet address range, VLAN ID and an optional shared key as we saw in the private pairing. But you must also provide the following information. Advertised public prefixes. This is the list of the address prefixes that you use over the BGP session. These prefixes must be registered to you and must be prefixes for public address ranges. This is optional. It's the client side autonomous system number to use if you are advertising prefixes that are not registered to the peer ASN. Routing registry name, this name identifies the registry in which the customer ASN and public prefixes are registered. Now, we have done the Microsoft side of the thing. Now our provider status is also provisioned. We have defined the routes. Now we have to connect a virtual network to an express route circuit. Remember, virtual network is a different thing. Express route circuit is the circuit between my virtual network or the main subnet to my Microsoft Edge router, then via the partner edge location to my on-prem data center. So after the express route circuit has been established, Azure private pairing is configured for the circuit and the BGP session between the on-prem network and Microsoft is active. We can enable connectivity from the on-premises network to Azure. Before we can connect to the private circuit, we must create an Azure virtual network gateway by using a subnet on one of our Azure virtual networks. The virtual network gateway provides the entry point to network traffic that enters from the optimized network. It directs incoming traffic through the virtual network to the Azure resources. We can configure network security groups and firewalls rules to control the traffic. We can also block the request from other unauthorized addresses in the on-premise network. Now we also have express route direct and fast path. 
Microsoft also provides an ultra high speed option called Express Route Direct. This service enables dual 100 Gbps connectivity. It's suitable for scenarios that involve massive and frequent data in ingestion. It's also suitable for solutions that require extreme scalability, such as banking, government, and retail. Express Route Direct supports FastPath. When FastPath is enabled, it sends network traffic directly to the virtual machines. That's the intended destination. You see the difference here, right? The traffic bypasses the virtual network gateway, improving the performance between Azure virtual networks and on-premise networks. FastPath doesn't support virtual network pairing. It also doesn't support user-defined routes on the gateway subnet as well. When to use Azure Express Route? When you have low latency connectivity to services in the cloud in these situations, eliminating or reducing the network overhead will have a significant impact on the performance of the applications. When you are accessing high volume systems in the cloud that consume or produce massive volumes of data quickly, consuming Microsoft Cloud services such as Office 365, Dynamic 365, Express Route is especially useful if the organization has a large number of users who need to access these services concurrently. Organizations that have migrated large-scale on-premise systems to Azure using Express Routes helps ensure that the results of the migrations are seamless for on-premise clients. Situations where data should not traverse the public internet and large data centers with a high number of users and systems accessing SaaS offerings. And this is a wrap up for this session, guys. Thank you very much for attending to this session. I'll see you in the next section where we talk about the firewalls and the security groups in this video series of architecting and designing network solutions for Azure.